Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll be talking about Llama Parse, which I believe happens to be a great tool for rack solutions and rack pipelines. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are sleeping on it because it's really effective, really easy to use. And I'm going to demonstrate one of the examples where you can use Llama Parse within your rack solution. So I'm in OpenAI Playground and I've created an assistant which happens to be a movies assistant and let's go through the instructions real quick pretty straightforward you're a movie assistant and you will fetch the file attached and return relevant details if you can't find relevant data just say I'm sorry I can fetch the relevant details pretty straightforward so we have retrieval on and I'm going to attach a PDF file which has some movies data that I fetched from Wikipedia so here we are Pretty simple stuff here. We have the rank of the movies, uh, we have the title, we have the distributors and domestic cross. So let's go ahead and do that. So movies PDF, da -da -da. all right. So let's go through a few of them. Let's start with Black Panther. What is the domestic cross for Black Panther? It's going to take a while. All right, so we have a number 566, and that's correct. Let's try another one. What is the Mr. Gross for Ant Man and the Wasp? Doo -doo -doo. And there you go. I'm sorry I couldn't fetch relevant details for the domestic gross of Ant-Man and the Wasp, which happens to be right there. So a lot of times uh, when you're building a rack solution and if you get a few answers correct by your assistant or a particular AI solution, uh, you would be like everything is working correctly. And I think my assistant can answer every question for that particular document correctly which is not the case because firstly, we don't know every underlying details of how OpenAI assistants sort of work with your PDFs, uh, but obviously there is some kind of tokenization involved. There's some kind of logic involved that can uh, make your assistant prone to hallucinations. And sometimes it just can stumble across your documents or your PDFs, just like this one did. So, uh, the point is now you're in a bit of a pickle. So what would you do? So a few people would suggest to you that, you know, maybe a CSV file or converting your PDFs into a CSV file, because in that particular format, you get comma separated values for particular tables. So maybe that's a good solution. So I have this PDF file converted into CSV and I'm going to sort of test it with a CSV. So I have it right here and I'm just going to attach this file. Firstly, I'm just going to remove this one and add movies.csv. So, all right. So it's done. Let's try again. Again, we get, I'm sorry, I couldn't find the exact domestic cross for admin and the wasp. All right. Now we have, again, Back to square one, we still have the same problem. So a lot of people would say that, hey, why don't you just sort of switch gears between your models? All right, let's try to do that. What is the domestic cross for Ant-Man and the Wasp? So now I'm using GPT-4 1106 preview version. And yet again, I'm sorry I couldn't fetch the relevant details because there are no documents uploaded for me to search through or write. And the problem is we have tried with different models. We have tried different formats of the files. It's still not working. So now introducing Llama Parse, which actually converts your documents into rack friendly formats. They are available in text and they're available in Markdown as well. So I have one converted over here. 
this was my file and this is the preview version this is the data that is given in the markdown so uh, they sort of claim that uh, the retrieval is obviously much much better than conventional pdfs and especially if you have documents or pdfs with tables uh, even some infographics then uh, this will sort of uh, convert those into rack friendly content it's something like we have here so i've currently saved this particular data into a markdown format already so i'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my assistant so i have it in data.md all right so there we go and now i'm just going to copy it and paste what is the domestic ross for admin and the wasp there we go and there we have it we have a number and the number is correct so this is what i'm talking about like converting your files or your documents into rack friendly markdown or text can definitely uh, help you in your rack solutions and sort of fetching out accurate details so this one's amazing let me know what you guys think and i'm gonna see you in the next video